Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Thanks for pressing play. Today, we're going to talk about all of the new changes coming for the 2024 model year in any C8 Corvette in the entire C8 Corvette lineup. So whether you're getting the Stingray, E-Ray, Z06, it doesn't matter. These changes apply to all of the performance variants. And there's a couple in here I bet you guys didn't see coming. Let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so we've been talking about the 2024 model year for about a month and a half now. We have had some interesting information come down the pipeline talking about what changes the 2024 model year is going to get. Most of them have been safety features and little things like that sprinkled in there, but nothing has been solid until now. The actual 2024 order guide has leaked onto the mid-engine Corvette forum about a week early because we're not actually supposed to get any kind of builder or official pricing on any of this stuff until monday july 17th and at that point it's going to be official it's going to actually have a builder where you can build any of the performance variants with a price and see everything in the flesh so to speak because right now we don't have any pictures of some of these new options but one in particular is definitely going to make you wonder so let's jump right into what these changes are and dissect how they're going to affect you if you're ordering any one of these performance variants. I wanted to really quick mention ProClip as the sponsor of today's video. It's an extremely easy to install system that does not require any kind of permanent modification, tape, or screws. It clips in and it can be removed as easily as it is installed. Like I said, it is a two-part system, meaning that it will have just the arm for the C8 Corvette that wraps around the back of the infotainment system, and then you will choose whichever mount best fits your phone to go on the front. The best part, you can actually save 10% just by using the code HPO10 and following the link in the description down below. So once again, guys, like I said, this information comes to us from the mid-engine Corvette forum. Com. And if we start here and scroll down a little bit, you can see we actually have the link to the actual gmfleetorderguide.com. And when we click on that, it's going to give us the option up at the top left there for new for 2024. So you can skip through all of the pages, and there are a lot of pages to this particular order guide, and just see specifically what's new. So let's do that. So here it is, guys, the deletions coming for 2024, the things you're no longer going to be able to get. It starts off with the white pearl metallic tricoat, the caffeine metallic exterior color, Elkhart Lake blue metallic exterior color, the 70th anniversary special edition, the 70th anniversary premium indoor car cover in black, the 70th anniversary satin black full length dual racing stripes, the midnight gray full length dual racing stripes, the 19 inch front, 20 inch rear, five Trident spoke machine face sterling silver painted aluminum wheels, and the Spectra gray painted aluminum wheels, as well as the ultra high security chrome wheel locks. Those are deleted. So if any of you wanted any of those options, then you are going to have to look for a 2023 because they are gone officially. So scrolling down here a little bit more, we get into the new features. And of course, the very first one here is the fact that yes, the E-Ray Coupe and convertible are going to be available come 2024. We already knew that. But let's see what else we got here. We have the new Riptide Blue Metallic Exterior Color that's going to be replacing the Elkhart Lake Blue that is officially gone. Scrolling down a little bit more, we have the Cacti Green Exterior Color. Again, we knew this was coming with the E-Ray, so that is a color that's going to be available across the board. We also have the Seawolf Gray, which is another new color coming in. We also have the Artemis interior that's coming with that cacti green color. We have the following distance indicator. This is where the safety features that we have talked about in the past come into play, along with the forward collision alert, the lane keep assist with lane departure warning, and the IntelliBeam auto high beam. We also get automatic emergency braking, front pedestrian and bicyclist braking, power hood pull down, which is of course that frunk auto cinch, full length dual racing stripes now wider, and five new colors, which would be carbon flash with an accent color, blue, yellow, orange, red, and silver. And the E-Ray of course has that unique electric blue color. 
We're getting the new five split spoke satin graphite with machine edge forged aluminum wheels for the Stingray. Same wheel again with the machine face sterling silver painted. The LT6 engine intake in red is available on coupe and convertible models because of the fact that you're now going to be able to select that see-through engine cover on the convertibles. Visible carbon fiber sill plates. This was one that was pretty interesting. Chevy has not ever offered a sill plate in carbon fiber that I know of, but there's been so much aftermarket playing heavily on carbon carbon fiber that Chevy is listening. They're they're hearing what we're asking for. They're they're seeing what we're getting on our cars aftermarket and they want to offer it as well. So we are now going to have an option for visible carbon fiber on the sill plates, which is pretty cool. This is the one that really is interesting to me because it is a visible carbon fiber two stanchion spoiler. And it doesn't say it here, but it does say it in the full order guide that is available for the C8 Corvette Stingray. So this is not an option for just the Z06 or the E-Ray. This is actually for the Stingray. Now, when I picture a two stanchion spoiler, of course, the only one that really comes to mind is the Z07 style wing. And I think GM would be doing themselves a huge disservice if they offer that same wing for the C8 Corvette Stingray. It's going to really water down the brand. It's going to make it even more difficult to tell the difference between these performance variants. Now, with that said, there are a lot of people doing aftermarket Z07 style spoilers on their C8 Stingray. So if they are in fact listening, if they are in fact watching maybe they want to cash in on that as well i'm not sure but i really kind of hope they don't do that like i said it kind of feels like it might water down the brand the z07 having that that special two stanchion big wing allows you to notice right off the bat that's a z06 and not just the typical c8 stingray but we'll see what it's all about like i said there are no pictures included here so we're not able to see what this stuff's going to look like just yet but stay tuned like i said july 17th we're going to get a lot more information and a lot more visual indications on these particular items. Scrolling down a little bit more, we get, of course, another new wheel, which is the 15-spoke bright polished machine aluminum wheels. Those were shown off at the Corvette Museum Bash not too long ago. They are a new wheel again for these things. And then scrolling down a little bit more, we get another 15-spoke bright polished machine aluminum wheel option. Coming down a little further, we get into our changes, and that, of course, is going to be that carbon flash metallic exterior color is now available for all models and trims. So that is fantastic. I love that color, and the only reason I didn't get that color on my C8 Corvette Z06 that's incoming any day now is because I would have had to have gotten 70th anniversary for that, and I did not want to get a 70th anniversary car. Now, for the 2024s, of course, it is available across all models and trims. So if you want that color, Color, you can get it on any one of them. This was another one that's really interesting to me is that the infotainment system with Google built-in and 8-inch diagonal HD color display replaces the old infotainment systems. I'm curious to see exactly what that changes because Google being built in is definitely not something that we've had in the past. Starting from 2020 all the way up to 2023, the infotainment system has stayed pretty much the same. There's been a little bit of incremental changes in there, but overall the system was visibly the same and for the most part had all the same options. Now we're getting Google built in, which I'm very curious to see exactly how that's going to play into all of this because Chevy is really trying to distance themselves from anything CarPlay or Android Auto related. If you guys haven't seen that yet, Chevy is trying to move away from that and not include that in their future infotainment systems because they have the magical option of their own that in their opinion means that you don't need Android Auto or CarPlay. But that's unfortunate because I use CarPlay every single time I get into any of my cars. So hopefully this isn't the start of the end here, but We'll see what that brings. Scrolling down a little bit more, this is another one that is really huge. This is a gigantic thing because I talked about this on our Monday Night Live before, how the car is almost dangerous to drive without that digital rear camera mirror option. And sure enough, here it is. It is now standard on all equipment groups. So it doesn't matter if you get a 1LZ, 2LZ, 3LZ. It doesn't matter. You will have that rear view camera mirror. I think that's fantastic because like I said, the car is almost dangerous dangerous to drive without it the blind spots are insanely large on this car and now it will be a lot safer to drive now with this you can bet your bottom dollar that the price of this car is going to be increasing for 2024 we already knew every model year increases year after year after year and we knew it was going to go up this year of course but with these changes coming 
it's going to be more significant than it has been in the past. And based on one of the other changes coming, if I had to guess, we're looking at close to an $8,000 difference in price. Now that could be with certain options added in there as well, but odds are very good this is going to be a bigger leap in price than any of the other previous years because of these features now being standard. Scrolling down a little bit more, we get the performance data recorder is now an option for the 1LT and 1LZ. So before you had to get at least a 2LT or a 2LZ to get the performance data recorder, it is now an available option for the stripped down 1LZ or 1LT if you wanted to stick with a more track oriented car but still have that PDR, you now can. And of course the next option is the engine appearance package changes. The coupe engine appearance package with the carbon fiber trim and the convertible engine appearance package with the window under the tonneau cover and engine cover. So like I said earlier, we were kind of teased these things at the Corvette bash where we can now have that visible window for the convertible options. And of course, with that comes the engine appearance package. Another really cool change here is that the engine lighting is now available separately on the coupe model. So before, if you chose the engine appearance package, that was the only way you could get the lights. And with the lights came the carbon fiber dress up parts that sat on the side. Now you can choose them separate. If you want just the lights without the carbon fiber, you can get that, which is a pretty cool addition because a lot of people want to add their own thing in there. They don't necessarily want the carbon fiber, but they do want the light. So now you can have it your way. Again, with the awesome additions here, GM seems to really be watching what is happening with the aftermarket on this car because they are offering now the visible carbon fiber door intake trim. It's now available on all Stingray and Z06 models and trims. Now, this is, of course, something that a lot of people have added to their cars aftermarket to get rid of the carbon flash there. They put carbon fiber instead. And now you can get it directly from GM. We have a couple changes to the Corvette script in the back. That one is not something huge. The fender hash stripes changes to carbon flash with the tech bronze accent. It was edge red with carbon flash. The LT2 engine cover edge red replaces the LT2 engine cover in edge red. And of course are both available on coupe and convertible now. And same thing with the sterling silver painted engine covers. Now with all of the changes out of the way, we're going to jump over to the CorvetteBlogger.com where they go a little bit deeper into these changes and differences available for the 2024 model year. Some of them are pretty cool. So so let's jump through these here. It starts off by saying that some of the new content that was unknown before the order guide dropped includes a tech bronze accent package for a Stingray and a Z06, a new two post spoiler invisible carbon fiber for the Stingray, Z06 base spoiler extensions, and new interior sill plates, just to name a few. One of the biggest moves in our opinion was Chevrolet no longer requiring the J57 carbon ceramic brakes for the Corvette Z06 buyers who want the Z07 style era without ordering Z07. Dropping that requirement offers buyers a savings of $8,495, almost $8,500. You will still need the J57 brakes for adding the carbon fiber wheels. Now this is where I think the big difference comes in here. One of the biggest reasons GM is offering the ability to drop the carbon ceramic rotors is probably to help offset the cost that the 2024 model year is likely to increase by. So if you are looking for a Z06, you want that extra arrow, but you don't want the Z07 package, you're not going to be forced to buy the $8,500 option of carbon ceramic rotors now. You'll have the choice between those and just your typical steel rotors. Next, we have the Corvette E-Ray buyers who want the painted or visible carbon fiber wheels are no longer forced to get the ZER package. If you want the visible carbon fiber wheels, we think that means that the wheels would then be wrapped in a standard all season Michelin instead of that summer only performance tire. Like we said earlier, the rear view camera mirror is now standard for the 1LT and 1LZ coupes when before it was standard on the 2 and 3LT. So guys, that's pretty much much going to do it. That's pretty much all of the changes for 2024. We have a load of safety features coming in 2024. We have a bunch of new features, a lot of new carbon fiber parts that GM is going to really start offering for this car just because of what they've seen we're doing in the aftermarket. And I think that's really awesome that GM is keeping an eye on that kind of stuff. Anyway, guys, if you liked what you saw, please smash that thumbs up button. Let me know you're liking the content so we can keep creating this new stuff for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm going to have loads of content like this coming. You're not going to want to miss. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next upload.